I was I have never lived a distant life because of that soul. Amen. Using my knowledge in in mar marketing, I was able to sell five thousand to six thousand pieces of soul. Then of course the opportunity in Canada is way more different on that. But I can I couldn't imagine myself how to survive ten years. I was able to send myself volunteering for two years in my nursing career. And if not because of that song, I would have made it. And I he introduced me to music. Actually, in fact, my first violin was one of the musical instruments that he uh, collected. That was one time, Christmas, before Christmas or Christmas Day, he received this. Christmas paycheck, and he spent them all into writing the keyboard, and I believe that was the first keyboard of my sister. If not because of that, we would have seen my sister probably playing the piano, passing on the music, uh, the love of music, to her kids. He explained to me the process of how plants grow. He said, you prepare the soil, you must if this seed goes into the ground with the proper combination of moisture, water, sunlight, plus the, you know, uh, some strong winds, true patience, humility, kindness, this plant grows and becomes big and bears fruit. One thing that I really admire and being so thankful about my dad is his inspiration that shared to us, to everyone, to friends, is the faith. Actually, I met my wife because of that. He really wanted me to go back into his home country. The dream of his dad passing on to him, my love to him and to me. He um, catered, tried to do the medical mission back in 2015, I think. We were able to serve 200 people. You know, uh, having this minor operation, kind of dental treatment, free checkup, giving free medicine and food. He introduced us to a very young age I know. The biblical part there that he, he told me. And to my mind, it is clear how David fought the sons of the Bible story, Moses, and everyone else. That I would take I am so grateful of having that, my dad, and given the chance that I would choose a dad, definitely I would choose him. He left me in the Philippines. I was there for 10 years. And there was just one thing that he told me. He said, be men of courage, be courageous. If not because of that word, I would have made it. I can't imagine myself alone in the Philippines without his word. I meditate many day and night. Even when I came to Canada, being a new immigrant, being so cold, right? When I left Canada a week ago, it's like minus 40. Cold and, and, and alone and starting a new job. Not even a nurse, but as a caregiver. It's not really easy. But we made it up to now. He was so fascinated with the friends of his dear wife. He said, the ones of this world are the ones of men. Men whose conscience, conscience is the true and is the leader to the whole. Men who can be bought for soul. But that cannot be done overnight. There has to be a subjection of higher to lower nature. He always carried me that one. He told me, you know, the book of, of James is just a short book written from, from beginning to the end and you, you will establish faith and you will appreciate faith and that's what he is. I think 
he's a great guy. Sad to say, he passed on that responsibility to me. But of all of these people, the person that would find it easier to, to cope with the loss probably it would be me. Because he taught me that. He taught me that courage in advance. And I really appreciate him for that. Well, anyway, thank you so much. And I just would like to say this I haven't told him ever. But I don't regret because I have shown so many different ways of saying it. I would like to tell him I love him. I love you. Papa. And thank you so much.